Hey, good evening. Evening time, about 5.30 almost here on the West Coast. Wolf Driver on a Thursday evening. Yeah, we're coming to the Wolf Duty Show, brought to you by AllDogNetwork.com. AllDogNetwork.com and the Wolf Driver and his Husky Pack. Yeah, we're going to do a couple mixing up things for a little bit this evening. Um, we're not going to inundate you, but we're going to talk about a little bit about our kitty cats that we started to do last night. Debbie's there. Hello. Good evening. And uh, we're going to we're going to take a look at some interesting stuff with the Wolf Driver uh, out with his huskies on his uh, one of his great carts uh, with a uh, a guest guitar player on with him called the Wolf House and the Wolf House because the Wolf House is the Sackle cart on wheels with the Huskies pulling them on an adventure. Hey now, how are you, Leslie? I'm good. Mimi's there. Deborah's there. Like my shirt. Thank you. Patsy's there. Wow. Getting on early is good, huh? Hello, Mimi. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing a thing tonight and uh, having fun as usual. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Again. So without further ado, because we're going to keep it uh, short and sweet this evening, I'm not going to get too late. Um, we've been talking about the felines, our kitties, and uh, integrating cats into the dog show, so to speak. Really, really, it's all good. These shirts are available if y'all, what I need to do is gather people that are, are wanting to go ahead and get some. I know a couple of people at one time did, and we need to know so we can order several at a time rather than, uh, you know, ones and twosies if we can and get a better price on them for you. It's all good. We're having a good time. Jumping jamming on a Thursday evening. And so we're talking about the cats, you know, we, we covered a few things in the last couple of days. And we're going to ease into the kitties, integrate them into the talk uh, chat rooms here we have, the chatting about all this stuff. Now to see the huskies there. And um, we have a cool video we're going to show here in a minute. Uh, going back to the cats, so we covered a couple things. You know, how to integrate your cat and your dog together uh, if it's the first time. You're too funny. You're making me laugh really hard. <laughs> I like that. If I can make somebody laugh, because I wish I was a comedian. I wish I could be that funny but uh, we're just being silly which is fun because if it makes people laugh that's what life's all about if you can laugh I don't care what you're laughing at you know it makes you feel good splash this all over me it's all good um, so we were talking about how to do that you know uh, how you you train your dog and your cat if you get them together I mean you know I don't know how many people you know you can't tell if you, gee, I have a dog, I want to get a cat. Or if I have a cat, I want to get a dog. How do I go about putting this thing together so we don't have big conflict? Uh, don't take it in a bad way. I laugh at everything. No, I don't take it in a bad way. I take it as a great way. That's right. I mean, uh, you're fun to be with. Thanks for the laughs. You're welcome, Linda. I appreciate that, you know. I try to be silly at least. If I can keeps you young at heart, you know, especially loving your dogs. Uh, Buster's been cool today. He took it for his early ride this morning. We did a little over mile, mile point two or three or something like that on the bike springer, which is cool. Averaging about five miles an hour, which we're going slow, we're going fast, we're doing a little sprinting, a little trotting, brisk walk with the, we do that with the bike springer. We haven't talked about the bike springer in a while. Anyway, the cats, back to the cats. So if you have any questions about that, you can look it up. You know, how to integrate your dog and your cat if you add one into your family and so forth. So then you have to train them specially. You know, the dog takes commands and the cat really doesn't. And uh, so you need to leave, have them know how to sit, leave it, stay, leave it, the cat, leave it, you know, that kind of thing. It's fun, you know, and it works. And the younger they are, obviously, the easier it is to do it. Um, you work with the uh, puppies for sure. So, having said that, there's no fears with those little guys if you get them together early. Um, I was going to talk about the uh, something we, we mentioned. This is what came to my mind today. Let me put my glasses on so I can read the remarks here from you guys. 
he used to have a yellow lab. His name was Sammy. His, his machete of six years until he had a mass cancer in his stomach and died. I miss him dearly. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, we had the same thing with our dogs, cancer. Horrible. Horrible. They're too young of an age as well for ours. They weren't, they weren't that old. <sighs> but these things happen. You know, it's like in people. You never know. So you just do the best you can with what you got, you know. And just love them the best you can. And you'll never forget them anyhow. That's for sure. Always with you. Always a shadow in your spirit. So, talk about the cats. You know, we pointed out that someone had written, someone who had been a pet caretaker all their life, had written a little article I found that said that, oh, well, you see a dog, you know, walking down the street, and you're more like into the breed, you know. Oh, wow, look, there's a shepherd. Oh, wow, there's a What do you have there? Is that a dachshund? Or is that a mixed breed? What kind of terrier is that? You know, people ask. They don't go, hey, there's a dog. They go, what the breed of the dog? Hi, Amanda. Good to see you tonight. And so, talking about cats, this person was saying a cat's a cat is a cat is a cat kind of thing. Like, okay, so there's breeds of cats, Persian, Siamese, all these names. We went through the primary breeds of cats, you know, through the alphabet there. There were quite a few, some that I have never heard of, some strange, some strange names. But whatever the case, so now... Um, that same person says, okay, well, when you see a cat, you know, there's only three categories of cats, so to speak, you know, a short hair, medium and long hair. And so Deborah Trainer just got here. What breed are we talking about today? We're not doing a dog breed tonight necessarily. What we're doing tonight, we've done, um, Shirley's here. Hello from the Florida Keys. Okay. Good to see you. Margaritaville. So what we want to do is point out here that we're we'll, we'll to integrating cats into our program here. So we've been starting out just talking about cats in general. You know, looked at the breeds. You can go back and look at the last couple of uh, evenings and you'll see what we've done. Uh, watch those shows and you'll see what we've done. Introducing them and talking about them, how to integrate what they are, all about their whole feline being, uh, how you get their DNA done. If you'd like to get, if you have a cat and want to know about their breed and so forth and, you know, what they are, really are genetically. But it, what the, the sense of the thing, what I was saying t tonight, what I was thinking about after last night, where we were saying the cat's a cat's a cat, and people look at a cat and go, oh, there's a cat. Oh, they got cats. Look. They don't go, hey, look at their spotted cat or look at, there's a Burmese or that's a Siamese, I think. Well, that could happen. But most time it says there's a cat. That's the point she was making on this article. And the more I thought about it, I thought, you know what, wouldn't be, what, why wouldn't it be just even more fun and, in, you know, me uh, more uh, fitting or socially cool when you see somebody's cat go, wow, there's a tuxedo cat, cool, I have to look that one up, I didn't see that one in the list, but whatever the case, you know where I'm coming from here, what I'm about to say, Olivia from Atlanta, love the show, good to see you as well. Thank you so much. Um, had, I mean not has. Got it. Had it. Had it, but I lost it. But I still have it. So the tuxedo cat. But again, if I get this out, finally I try to keep on his comments. Um, it may be cool if you go over and you see a cat somewhere, wherever, somebody's yard or at their house, or you meet them on the street, and you're up in the tree, whatever they may be, and you go, wow, look at that beautiful you're guessing the breed, for example, or you've learned more about the breed, so you recognize a breed that you didn't know was a particular purebred cat, for example. And so <clears throat> I thought, well, maybe we, as we go through these things, you know, if we do the cat portion of everything uh, in our chat here, evenings, that we talk about that, you know, and look at maybe the differences in some of the breeds and their and their actually temperaments and so, you know, origins and stuff. Like we did the we do the, with the dogs. So I just thought about that, you know, like, and, oh, it's a beautiful uh, calico cat you have over there, instead of, oh, that's a short hair cat. Sue, we love your show, and Buster, and you are all awesome. Thank you so much. Buster's in there. He's cruising in his chair in there. He's a, it's a restful day for him. Uh, I think it's a little ticky-tocky, though, sometimes. I think it's, Olivia, thank you. So that's what we're doing. How about those cats? And then, uh, 
was uh, looking at this about them and uh, finding that uh, just some basic facts we did talk about the, the domestic cats so those three domestic cats short medium and long hair let's we say them you know as far as being the three categories rather than you know, all the breed names that's kind of how they do it domestic cats they call them <clears throat> And no matter their breed, all the members are one species. They're all Felis cactus. Has had a very long relationship with humans. Uh, the ancient Egyptians may have first domesticated cats as early as 4,000 years ago. Uh, plentiful rodents probably drew wild felines to human communities. And uh, the cat's skill in killing them may have first earned the affectionate attention of the humans. Well, we all kind of know that when you have a cat around your house, you usually don't have any mice hanging out. Um, but it's contrary to popular belief in terms of <laughs> my, I'm concerned. Uh, not all the cats are going to be that aggressive, perhaps. Early Egyptians worshipped a cat goddess and even mummified their beloved pets for their journey to the next world. Wrapped them up like mummy cats when they cross the Rainbow Bridge. Accompanied by mummified mice that they had probably attacked. Cultures around the world later adopted cats as their own companions. Uh, like their wild relatives, domestic cats are, are natural hunters and able to stalk prey and pounce with a sharp, uh, with sharp claws and teeth. That's the way they do it. They're particularly effective at night when their light reflecting eyes allow them to see better than most of their prey. Interesting. Cats also enjoy acute hearing. They hear very well. All cats are nimble and agile, and their long tails aid in the outstanding balance that they have. So I can see them on the rails and stuff, just uh, on their fence stuff. Dogs, you don't see them do that. <laughs> cats communicate by marking trees, fence posts, and furniture with their claws or their waist. Ooh, careful that inside. These scent posts are meant to inform others of the cat's home range. House cats employ a vocal repertoire that extends from a purr to a screech. You've all heard that. And domestic cats remain largely carnivorous, and they have evolved a simple gut appropriate uh, for raw meat. They also retain the rough tongue that can help them clean uh, every last morsel from animal bone and groove themselves. Their diets vary with the whims of humans. However, they can be supplemented by the cat's own hunting successes. So you don't know when they're out there at night what they're doing, whether they're eating rats or... You don't know for sure. Mine would would do away with the rat out there and leave it out there. And many, many times you'd find parts in different places to let you know they did their job. That's what they do to get used to it. I freak my wife right out. You know, talk about reality. Huh? Body's over there. Stomach's out over there. Head's over there. But... Thank you, Kitty, for doing your job so that it's not in our house. Thank you very much. So that's about it for the cats tonight. A little quick thing on the cats. We like to get, you know, go make it easy and simple and then gather the information and go back and talk about it. And most people say, ah, they know about cats. Well, yes and no. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Um, the good news is there's always something else to learn in my, in my book because I'm just, you know, checking it out all the time. And I find, uh, wow, they do that. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to do it right there in your house, you know, but you could, you know, want to mark the territory certain ways. And just being aware of all these things is kind of cool when you have these animals already. Most of them have probably got their protocol of how they're living in your house and in your environment and your family, in and outdoors or whatever the case, or both or either one. And they um, got it down, the litter box is down, the food's down. They're cool. Cool little kitty of the week is when we're going to start doing kitty of the week of the night. Meantime, we're going to take a look at the wolf driver and one of his um, fun things he does, which is called Wolf House, that's taking musicians out with him for a ride with the pups. I want to check it out. Okay, we're going to take the lights down in the theater here and we'll start right here by looking at what this looks like. Okay. Oops, sorry. Hit the wrong button. And this is uh, with Mark. This is a while back, but this is where it started, and there's a lot of these. 
Uh. Here you go, puppy. You got it. So he's playing guitar. Got a little amp back there as well. I'm gonna sing with the Wolf Driver on uh, Adventure with his, one of his beautiful Sacco cards with the high uh, all dog vehicles. Straight from the heart, I think. As long as you're gone, we may as well pretend I've been cheated. Straight in my heart. You say it's easy, but who's to say that we be able to? Springers. I see you on the streets of the time. All the worlds will just fall out of line. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna kinda of turn this uh, volume down so you can hear me. He's a good singer. And I'm gonna put our meditation on uh, as well here just for a moment. And then I uh, go back to the uh, Instead of Daryl's house, they're at the Wolf House, moving around, playing music while they're taking the dogs out for an adventure. Now that's about as uh, trippy as you can get right there. And it's all about the dogs, really. I mean, is that fun or what? You're driving these vehicles that are just handmade, incredible Sacco cart things. This one's like a the seats up high, you're not sitting down like Wolf a dreams. carriage, it's just a different kind of uh, design. And there's the wolf driver at the command post with the four wolf pack. That's what it looks like when they're out there on these trails and they've got a lot of off-road places they can go safely. It's a bike path it looks like somewhere. I mean, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Um, Wolf dreams. Let's see what else we got here that we might want to look at. Uh, I'm going to hold off on cold air. Now you've all seen Take Them Out to Trot. It's kind of fun, this one here. I haven't seen this in a while. It's time to try. 
got good rhythm. takes them out to the uh, actually a horse track and they 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 ride around the horse track sometimes they're racing the the uh the horses it's hilarious yeah man let's see what do we got here um well we've got so many cool things that the wolf driver's done that we like to share um You know, it's it's um, it's an amazing thing when you when you love the dogs as much as this this young man does, the wolf driver, um, and does what he does for them and and the love he gets back from them and the energy. They're amazing uh, animals. These Siberian Huskies, the wolf pack, uh, as strong as oxes. I mean, the endurance is unbelievable after doing that all the time every day. Um, See if we can get this to work. I'm going to show you what he does at night. What happened? Do you think it was okay up now? Well, that was, uh, <laughs> you, they have, uh, they go out at night with the pit crew. It looks something like this. This is at night with night vision goggles and night cameras. Middle of the woods.
talk about strange stuff. There it is. Rides the night here. There they are. Look at them. Now yeah, that could be in the middle of the night, I think. Sometimes they go out at midnight, stay out all night. How fun is that? Look at they see a deer. Right there in the woods, a deer. Stormtroopers, you got that right. Deer right there in the forest looking at him like, what is this? tonight. Take a little break there. They are so beautiful. about it because these guys can see in the night so well it's scary right look where they're going all these places whooping it Four Huskies. Pretty amazing stuff. So we like to bring that to you because, uh, you know, get you aware of what uh, the Wolf Driver does. It's uh, just amazing stuff. And the more you see that, think about you you doing it yourself and you doing it and being equipped to do it, number one. Have the experience to do it, number two. And deal with the four dogs. I mean, it's um, it looks easy. But there's a lot to it and a lot to the equipment that they have with them on those carts. You know, should something break or something, which happens. That's why the, a couple of those crew guys are always with them. And they have all the electronics, the cameras, the batteries. The you know, They're online through the trees on the Wi-Fi up there in the sky. I guess a Verizon, one of those units, you know. That's how they can bring that to you. Uh, record it and then bring it to us. So now they're doing it live. Takes years and years of experience for this. Been doing it a long, long time. 
And so we like to share that. He wants to share that with the world. That's what he does. Um, yes, Lisa. And he just enjoys it. There's nothing, uh, there's just a nonprofit organization, so to speak. It's just sharing what you do with your dog, you know, and how he does his adventures with these and the love of the dogs. It's really nothing more than that, but it's so much more than that. I mean, because there's just so many things you can do and places you've gone, you know. So we try to share these videos with you, you know, at random and try to figure them out. My female husky got out of the enclosure twice last night. Uh oh. Huh. I don't know how they got out. They kind of latched those suckers. I had the same thing with Buster. He got out a couple times. I didn't latch it right, jumped right out. I got a story about latching the cage. When we moved from Northern California down here, I had my cat, um, Emily, and I had a small cage. And she used to stay back under the house. We lived out in the woods. It takes training and much discipline. Yes, it does. Um, and she would live, when she was outside, she'd be back under the house. Well, the time we had to leave to go, everything's packed and the car's ready. She's not around in the house or right outside. She senses that uh, something's happening. And sure enough, she's back under the house. And somehow I was able to go back there and grab her before she, you know, went and ran away, like knowing that, hey, she's going to grab me. But I went under, I got a hold of her, put her in the cage, set the cage out front of the house on the, on the thing. And I thought I had it latched. I go in and get all the rest of the final things to put in the car. Board broken. I had to fix so they could not get out. Yeah, you had a broken board. That's different. But anyway, I had this metal cage and I thought I latched the little thing. So I come back to put, uh, you know, some food in there and whatever and take the whole cage and put it in the back seat of the car so she rides and then let her out of the cage once I got into the car and going. Because she's cool. She would stay on my arm or whatever in the seat. I come out and the, and the door's open and she's gone. Like it didn't latch and it's getting dark and I got to get going to beat the traffic. And I'm calling her, she wouldn't come. I'm calling her, she wouldn't come. It's getting dark, I can't see. I get my flashlight. She's back under the house and happened to be, that's where she went back to. Cause she couldn't have gone anywhere. I never would have, I would have had to wait to get her. I couldn't have gone anywhere to the next day if I got a hold of her. Or I'm thinking, gee, I gotta call somebody to come out here and take care of us and ship her down to LA. So I was a mess. I was panicking. And I just slowly walked toward her and got her again. I was just lucky she didn't run. So I understand the cage thing. <laughs> A little story there off the side. So we're gonna get back to um breeds. Um probably um uh, tomorrow we might have to have um, a super early show because I have another engagement I have to be at. So I'm either going to do a super early afternoon show or we'll double up on uh, on Saturday late or late afternoon. Do two shows like we did before. Either way, we keep we keep busy and we keep it going. And we're going to get back to some dog breeds, do another ditty, uh, stay with our cats, start talking about cat breeds, pick one and start looking at the differences, some of them, see how, how far we get into there being enough differences to discuss these breeds. And any questions y'all may have, shoot me a comment, um, uh, you know, about, about all these things and what you would like to hear about and talk about. Something different may come up, any questions you have we can work on together. That's always a lot of fun. And um, and that's kind of it. So for Thursday evening, I want you all to take care. Um, it's all good. And remember, if you do have cats and you want to look at your feline uh, DNA for your testing for your felines rather than your canines, it's uh, uh, vetdnacenter.com. V-E-T DNA Center, one word, dot com. Uh, do you name... Do you know time tomorrow? Um, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, I mean, I have to leave very early for uh, an engagement in L.A. tomorrow. So I think we're going to skip tomorrow and catch up on Saturday with a double whammy. We did that last week when we had a special occasion. 
and this comes up. So we don't we don't lose our time on the air. It's just sometimes we're going to have longer ones, sometimes shorter ones, our old chats, uh, to keep everything interesting and fun and and not inundate everybody too much either at the same time. You don't get boring, hopefully not. So, and then we're going to get back to the guitar this weekend. Sometime, maybe Sunday will be that. We'll see. And then, uh, I mean, there's always so many things to circle around and do, for especially for new viewers that we have. It's okay with Deborah. Have a good night, Mimi. Thanks a lot for watching. We like it. And uh, we really appreciate you coming and sharing with us and sharing with all your friends what we're doing here. It really helps everybody out uh, if you can do that. Um, so you know where we are, alldognetwork.com and Wolf Driver on uh, Facebook. There we are. We're going to jump and jam right out of here again. It's been a pleasure again on Thursday. And on behalf of the Wolf Driver and the beautiful four-pack Huskies, we're going to have a good night. See you all tomorrow night. Thanks for telling us that. And, uh, you know, you'll get the notification if I can go on maybe tomorrow afternoon. It'll be quite early. So we'll see. But otherwise, devil, you know, we'll catch up on Saturday. It's all good. You know, we're still going to be here, even if we miss one day or so for whatever, uh, you know, the special reason that we need to do that, uh, that it's not uh, conducive to be on the air where we are going to be. We'll have all our tools and our music and everything and our shirts. Okay, see you Saturday night. See you more. Take care. See more, Debbie said. It's all good. Thanks for joining us. Jump and jam, fresh water, fresh food, keep the sleepies out of their eyes, and give them big slobber kisses like they give you. Cats and dogs, we'll see you soon.